this is Stoddard, and I'm here to share a little information about Nathaniel Foote III and this house, which was actually finished in 1702. Do you know how old the house is? If you guessed over 300 years, you are correct. This house has been standing for a very long time. Nathaniel Foote lived in Wethersfield with his wife Margaret and nine children in the late 1600s. But he had wanted to start a new community. He could see the potential for the land to be turned into farms and for families to have good lives. So he rode around the wilderness and came in contact with a Wanako who was the chief of the Mohegan tribe. Awanako and Nathaniel became friends, and Awanako gave Nathaniel the land that we know as Colchester today to start a new community. Nathaniel was very excited to receive this land, and he chose 50 acres for his farm up where the rec field and golf course are today. Have you ever wondered where Colchester got its name? It was actually from Nathaniel Foote, who named it Colchester after a town in England called Colchester, where his ancestors actually came from. So once he had his farm, think about the land and what he would have had to do to start building his house. He started building this house that we're in today. Unfortunately, he became very sick and was unable to finish the house. His 17-year-old son, Nathaniel IV, could see how much the house meant to his dad and finished building it in 1703, just before his father died. Shortly after that, Margaret and her four youngest children came to Colchester and moved into the house. Now this little house that you see today has been moved three or four times in the past 300 years, and it has been used for many different things for the citizens of Colchester. When you look around, look at the pictures, think how different this house is than the house that you live in today. We are so lucky that the citizens of Colchester preserved this house so we can actually visit an authentic house 